Thank you for joining me today. This is Dulcer24 here with another tutorial on how to build a three clock repeating circuit. So what I'm going to do is just leave this one on for you. This is the way it's going to look. I'm going to leave it on for you and let it run for the entire tutorial so you can see at the end of it that it's still running and hasn't burned out. And these types of repeaters you're going to find aboard my, my Starship, the USS Dangerous, which I will have tours and tutorials coming out for you in the upcoming weeks. I just need to finish those videos and I'll get them out to you. So what you're going to need is three blocks on whatever you're going to build with. You're going to need three redstone torches, at least ten redstone dust uh, to complete the circuit, one redstone uh, repeater, and then you're going to need a lever um, for an on and off switch. So what you want to do is pick a spot, you want to lay your first block down, it doesn't matter where, and just put it there. And then you're going to use a redstone torch and put it on one of those sides. You're going to lay out two, at least two redstone dust, and at the end of that you're going to lay down another block. And from there you want to put your redstone torch at the end on the opposite side, and it should turn itself off like this. And you can lay down two more redstone dust. Next, just lay the block at the end of the redstone dust like this, and lay another, put down another redstone torch. From here, you just want to link up this last block with the first block, with the redstone dust, and then that will start your circuit. But it is going to burn itself out, so to fix that, what you want to do is lay down a redstone repeater, and then set it on the third setting. And then once you start it back up again, you would see that the circuits run, and it won't stop unless you turn it off or break it up. Now, if you want to slow it down a little bit, you can add in more redstone repeaters, um, but I at least use one so it doesn't turn itself off. And then if you want to lay a lever here, this will be your on and off switch. So as you can see, I'll turn it off, turn it on. And it doesn't have to be on the block. You can spread it out or take it out, take it out from the block and it will still work. You still have your on and off switch. Now, if you want to cover this whole redstone repeater up, um, or the circuit up, what you would want to do is you can build yourself a wall around the redstone repeater, or around your three clock repeater, and then you can put a lever on top like this, and it would still catch the redstone dust, sending the signal over and turning everything off. And you can put a block in front of that just to cover everything up. Now what you can do with this circuit, if you lay redstone out from the last block, you can actually, this is what I do with my redstone, uh, with my circuits, is I make myself the red alert system, like so. You can use it, uh, I use it for my combat training room with the moving floors and in the regular engine, in the engine room I use regular pistons. And then you can also, what I also use it for is my Ford phasers with a dispenser with shooting arrows. So we'll go back to the first one here. And as you can see, it's still running, hasn't burned itself out. It's very reliable and very easy to build. So that is how you build your three clock uh, repeating circuit. If you have any questions or need any clarification on how to build them, write them in the comments below or you can email me at the link that I provided at the bottom. I will, like I said, I'll have more videos, uh, more tutorials and tours coming out to you on the USS Dangerous. So just stay tuned for those. I do hope this helps you in whatever you're building and stay tuned and I'll see you next time.